Hey guys, what's going on? Bud from Bud Plays Games here, bringing some more Cities Skylines gameplay, guys. Now, let me just start off by saying, guys, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below, so I know you guys do enjoy it, I'll be sure to get out to you guys more often. But last time we left off, we got some more expansions, and we got this very, very nice little commercial area out here. Looks actually very nice still, I still really like the way it looks. Looks very, very cool. But I was, I was thinking of different things that we could be doing today in today's episode, and uh, we might want to start thinking about expanding out this way to get some more space for residential. As you can see, we do have a demand for residential. So let's go ahead and let's start off the episode by doing that. Um, also, guys, if you haven't, be sure to check the, uh, the description of the video. It'll give you links to my Patreon, my Discord, all that good stuff, guys. So you can come chill in the Discord, uh, Discord server that I've got up and going, guys. we got a nice little community going on thus far. It's pretty good. You guys can come in there, hang out, get to know me. I'll get to know you. It'll be fan- Fantastic. So let's go ahead and get some highways uh, out in here. There we go. Very nice. Just to give them another little way on and um, off the highway to get over to our new residential area. We're, gonna, we're getting ready to zone here in a few seconds. So let's go ahead and do... We'll do the six lane one way. You know what we could do? On my, um, my stream game I was doing, I was doing a little bit of something different, guys. So we're going to try to do something similar to that here. Uh, what I was doing on that game, or on that save rather, was I was um, making some nice little circle cities. I'll, and I'll show you what I mean here in a second once I get these guys uh, situated. That looks actually awful. That's terrible. <laughs> see if we can uh, clean this up just a little bit here. Maybe. Let's see if I can get a nice curve so I can make it kind of symmetrical. Maybe. If not, it's not a big deal. Eh, that's better. That that makes me a little bit happier here, guys. But what I was doing is I was making some of these um, fancy little circle roads, which I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you guys in just a quick second of how to do that and all the uh, all the good stuff like that. So actually, let's go and upgrade that to this. Uh, let's pull this guy out. Mm, let's go one, two, three, four, five units out this way. Then we're going to come on this guy, go one, two out this way, and we'll go one, two out this way as well. Now what I do is I go ahead and I grab some one ways, and I do the curved road. Actually, my uh, moderator, Deca was the one that told me about this little uh, building strategy slash thing you can do. Uh, it basically acts as one giant roundabout, and I've gotten pretty dang good at making these circles, guys. I've made... I don't even know how many of these little circles on this stream city. But, as you guys can see, it's essentially one big roundabout. And the way that we do this is we just continue expanding out. Um, out off this roundabout. So, you know what we could do? We could try to get a little bit crazy in here, guys. Let's go like this. This is going to be interesting. I haven't really done anything like this on the, uh, on the stream city at all, so we'll see how this goes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the circle out once more and uh we'll see we'll see how this works um i'd assume i can do it pretty much the same way go out where this intersects go in like this find the intersection out here as well continue to make this very nice and symmetrical looking because uh symmetry is very important not not really for traffic flow or anything like that but purely for aesthetic purposes uh, now a key thing I want to make sure is there's no stoplights in here because, again, this is a roundabout and roundabouts will not work effectively if there are stoplights. Let's go ahead and pop these guys off here. This is honestly like my favorite way to build now. <laughs> now that I learned about this, it's it's just so good. It's just such a good building technique to do, guys. Let me go ahead and just panel out, or zoom out so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, basically what you do is you just continue expanding outwards like so. Um, do I dare... I think I dare. I think I dare do another one. I think I will. I, hmm, this will be, I really don't know how well this is going to work. Um, I would assume it's going to work pretty much as well as it does on the stream city, but this circle is like three times bigger now once I get these expansions added on. Also guys, um, if you haven't seen, I actually started uploading a new game called Metro 2033. Uh, basically that game is uh, post-apocalyptic uh, kind of horror type-ish game. It's got like this. It's a really cool game, guys. Really cool game. Really pretty, too. So if you guys haven't checked that out, be sure to uh, 
check my most recent videos, and you guys should see it up there pretty high. So this... Eh, that looks pretty good. It's very symmetrical, very nice looking, if I do say so myself, guys. Go ahead and pat myself on the back here for a uh, intersection well done. Not intersection, per se, but a uh, roundabouty thingamadoo well done. You know, I'm really enjoying playing this game, guys. It's just a really nice, chill game to play. Nothing, nothing crazy, no... Uh, real stress in it. It's just a nice chill game to play. And you guys can be r actually really enjoying it as well. So, guys, thank you so much for all the support you've been showing on this uh, this series and the channel lately. I do appreciate it. We are on are on the road to a thousand subscribers. If you guys don't know, at a thousand subscribers, I plan to do a face reveal. So, um, guys, easiest way to get me there, to help me get there, is uh, share the video. Tell your friends about it if you have friends who might like this kind of content. And uh, it'll, it goes a long way, guys. It really does. Now, this might... Ooh, there we go. That's actually a really nice spot for it. One of these right there. Uh, can we get a police station as well? Then we get a cemetery out here. Just kind of go along with it. Uh, we'll place it right... I don't want to place it... Oh, gosh, I guess... I guess I will. I guess it'll, it should be okay, I think. Um, I, I don't want to expand out too much in these directions, like on these corners, because... If I want to make more circles outwards from there, I'll have to uh, move the cemetery, and if it's full, it just creates a big headache for me. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe get an education system out here as well. Mm. No, let's maybe hold off on this for a second, I think. That might be a good call. Yeah, let's go ahead and hold off on that for just a second here. Uh, we'll get some of these high-capacity residential, or high-density residential, they are called. Uh, make sure the game is paused there, because we will need some power over here. Because power is a uh, important thing you guys cannot forget. So like this. And I tend to forget it quite often, so. Let's just go ahead and branch it out along the sides here, just so I can ensure that everything is going to get some power. Now when I hit space, things should start to sprout up around here. Yes, they will. Now, will they be able to branch to each other and get power? That is a whole nother, whole nother issue we're going to have to deal with. I guess what I could do to kind of help that, at least some parks. Now these will act as like a little branching thing, so power will be able to go back and forth throughout them. As you can see right there, it's kind of like a little, look, it, it kind of works similar to like a little power bridge, I guess you could call it. So it looks like things are going very nicely over here, very good. That's what I wanted to see. Looks like everything should be going quite well. Quite well indeed out here. Got a nice way to get in, they got a nice way to get out. Everything should go very good out here. You want to make sure there's no stoplights, anything like that, so people can get around here effectively and efficiently. That is, uh, muy importante. Go ahead and get water out to that guy. Kind of neglected him a little bit there, but let's, uh, let's just not talk about that. So this goes out one, two, three, four units. What I can do is let's grab the six lanes that we were using. Go and expand this guy out just a bit more here. Now let's just go a big line like this. So there's one, two, three, four circles. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do than my uh, my stream city was. So I gotta plan this out way more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if I go like, ooh. It'll be a little bit difficult to get. One, two, three, four. Let's go right here, maybe. Got right in this direction a few. That is one, two, three, four as well. Two, three, and four. That's already one, two, three, makes four. Now we're going to try to do this again with these, uh, these one ways here. This is a little bit more of a uh, kind of... I wouldn't call it an advanced building style, but it's a little bit more difficult than just making a grid pattern. So let's see if I can get this to, to link up and look decent here. Uh, the slope is going to affect it a bit and make it look a little bit odd. Hope I didn't mess that up. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't doubt it if I did. Whoa, mouse. Whoa, mouse. Easy. Easy now, bud. Hashtag a new mouse for bud. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hold up. Hold up, let me, let me just, oh jeez. Oh gosh, it's a huge disaster. It's a huge disaster, guys. I'm actually in the uh, process of looking at some new mouse, some new gaming mice. Might hear the little, yeah. 
Uh, if you guys have any good recommendations for mice, be sure to let me know. Because every now and then it'll kind of do what you guys saw there. It'll kind of ghost and move on its own. Um, so if you guys have any good recommendations for mice I should be looking at, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, let's get this guy. Now it's not looking like it's linking up perfect. Oh my gosh, no, we're having the same issue we did on the stream city. Which is, uh, the slope causes a... Because if you guys look at this, it's on a very huge slope. So what we, might, what we might have to do is we might not be able to make another circle out here, sadly. Kind of sucks because I like the way the circles look. Let's make things look really nice. Let's just get let's just get rid of these guys. I don't think we'll be able to do a circle out here, guys, unfortunately. The, the land is just too slopey and weird. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some more six lane. We'll get the guys with trees because they uh, will help dampen noise pollution. Yeah, see, the slope is even too steep to build a road on, which is... Kind of crazy. Jeez, man, that slope is intense. Holy crap. Oh, gosh, every time I do this stuff, I mess it up. Yeah, this slope is... I should have looked at this before I uh, decided to start building out here. See if I can get this raise up just... Oh, wow. Well, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted at all. See if I can get this guy raised up. So, this is now turning into a landscaping episode, it seems. If I just, at least, even the slope out enough that I can build a road on it. That's really my main goal here. There you go. That'll do. That will do. So we're going to do the same thing out here. We're just going to try to see. Where's it lining up at? Right there? No, it's not. So let's just go like this. We're going to go ahead and destroy this little bit right there. Grab this guy once more. So this will probably be more of a... Uh, commercial area, I think, since that's residential over that way. That should work out pretty well, I think. Should be a pretty good, um, use of space out here. God dang, that slope is crazy, guys. Look at that. It's like we're building on a freaking mountain out here. Now, I want to be careful not to create too many intersections, because that's just going to cause issues with traffic. So, what is something I can do? Let's just, hmm... I think we're just gonna go for it, guys. It's not a very efficient use of space. I know, I know it's not. You guys are probably cringing. You guys are probably cringing, but I, I apologize. Just don't look. Just don't look, guys. All these have stoplights. Oh gosh, that's gonna be a pain to deal with. So, what I could do here... Hmm... I'm trying to think of a good way to connect these guys. Now, what I have in mind... I guess I could go, like, out here... We'll just try to make it as smooth as a curve as possible here. Just to try to help traffic flow on the highway as much as we can. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Looks like it's a pretty smooth exit for him. Um, then over here, we'll probably put a exit back onto the highway, I think. Should work. Now they have a good way in and out. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, that's... That's my goal here, try to make something semi-smooth. Some, oh gosh, we're gonna, this is welcome to Rotor Coaster Tycoon again, guys. Alright, let's go like this. Pull this out like so. If I can get it a nice smooth merge, um, oh, that's going the opposite way. Hmm. I guess what I could do is just something like that. That could work, that could work. I'll have a way from here, from this nice little, um, Actually, can industrial even get over there? Ooh, industrial is very far away. This could be interesting. This could definitely be interesting. Um, so we now have two exits in, one exit out, so we could use another exit out. Um, hmm. You know, let's just leave it as is for now. Just for now. Uh, we're going to come in here, though. Do this. I don't believe they should start zoning there since there's no real demand for a uh, commercial quite yet, but as the demand goes up, we will get some more people wanting to uh, build out here, obviously, but let's get this guy going like that. That should work, I think. Power is... Yeah, it's alright. Uh, we could probably use another oil power plant, which we can come out here. Uh, let's go ahead and check where the oil is at. It, everywhere, literally everywhere. So I can just place this guy down right there. And that should be good. 676. Probably get one more down just to be safe. Screw it, let's live a little. Go two more down. That should get our power to uh, 
uh, almost a thousand. Almost a thousand. Didn't mean to take a screenshot there, guys. <laughs> Lol, now I gotta delete that later. So this should... This looks like it has some decent traffic back and forth. So far. Oh yeah, traffic's flowing really nicely through there. Very nicely indeed. Um, what I could do... Is I could go like... Well, maybe. If I can find a good outlet for it. I want to try to connect this up like so. Can I get it? Oh, that'd be perfect. Let's just go like that. Uh, I will go ahead and connect these power lines once more. Just kind of make more of a uh, stable power grid, if if you will. There we go. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I feel like it does, so. So now they have another exit out to this residential zone. Uh, I guess we could kind of mirror what we did right there. It's kind of. It's not a mirror by any means. We just go like that. Now these guys have another entrance into this residential zone. Which I'm hoping will kind of um, make traffic go in different places. So that should be pretty good. Should be pretty dang good. Let's take a peek at this here. We got a grand city. Now we got the solar power plant as we've already placed down two of those... Uh, the, the oil power, so it's a little bit unfortunate that we just hit that milestone when we could have used it a few seconds prior. I've also learned the importance of uh, train stations. So that could be something that we get into in the future as well, as well as Metro. Uh, what's the deal here? What do you guys have? What's wrong? Not enough customers, huh? Well, hopefully that should should change. Hopefully. Let's, let's just hope, shall we? Are you guys residential? You are. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I guess what we could do is we could just zone this as residential as well. As well as this guy. And this guy. We'll get these guys zoned as well. Don't want these. Uh, water is good out there, correct? Yes, it is. Very nice. Yeah, we could use a little bit more sewage treatment and um, water availability here. So let's go ahead and get some of these guys going. I should probably switch to these. So I'm going to work on making the transition over to um, a little bit of a cleaner sewage system. And as I do that, I'll start to delete these old ones. Just to try to clean up the water here a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and delete some of these guys. See how this goes. Yeah, we're still okay. Still good. How about now? Yeah, I figured that would drop a good bit. Go like that. That should be good enough, I think. Let's hope. Uh, yep, that's perfectly fine. So that should start to uh, clear up the, a little bit of this water out here, because this is extremely, extremely polluted. Um, which I want to try to take into account, because I don't want things to get too bad out there, because, you know, land value and stuff. Get four more of these guys. That should be plenty. Very nice. Connect them up. And that should deal with our water situation. Yes, it did. Very good. Uh, what I could use out here is a dump, because I don't really have one readily available. So let's go ahead and grab another six lane. I don't know if this is a good idea doing this all in six lane, but that's what we're doing. And let's just hope it works, right? Go out two from here. I want to come out this way and get it to line up. There we go. And then we'll just come out a little bit more. I don't want my, uh, my, what's this called? The landfill or garbage place to be too close to my residential because pollution is a bad thing I would like to avoid. Or definitely making my people sick is something I want to avoid. We'll just place these pretty far over here. Oh, God, that slope is crazy, guys. We get two of those placed. We'll get... Three of those, that'll, that should be good enough, I think. Uh, they do need water, so let's run some water out here. There we go. So if you guys are looking for some more, like, tips and tricks of how to expand your city, I mean, I guess this kind of helps you a little bit. These little circles are very efficient. Um, very, very good. Very nice deal. I'll let you guys get a quick peek at this. Pretty good. It works out really well, I think. It does indeed. So that should be good, and as we get more demand for commercial, this stuff should tar start to uh, spring up out here. Now, something I wouldn't mind doing is trying to connect these. 
Because right now the easiest way to get from point A to point B would be the roundabout. Eh. I think we are having a bit of traffic flow issue. Is there a stoplight there or something? No, there's not. Uh, let's go ahead and put a stop sign right there. Actually, maybe this will be one of those instances where a stoplight is actually useful. Just to try to make things flow a little bit more evenly throughout. Where are you guys going? Oh, you all want to turn as well. Huh. You know what we could do? And if we do like a ramp like this over there, it'll give the people that are wanting to get over here a few more options. Hopefully, anyways. That's the goal here. So, where are the majority of these people going? Straight? Maybe they're just going straight. You know what we could do? Let's get a little bit crazy here, guys. Uh, do something kind of, kind of crazy. Not super crazy, but it's kind of crazy. Some of you might be uh, understanding what it is I'm trying to do right now. Some of you may be facepalming at what I'm trying to do right now as well. Definite possibility. Oh, did not want to do that. Can I... Dang it, there's no control Z in this game, is there? Feels bad. Well, that'd be really nice if there was a control Z in the game. That would, uh, that would help out quite a bit. No, oh, slope too steep. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. No. My beautiful plan is all falling apart. What if I try to get as close as possible? Oh, no. The slope is still too steep. Delete these guys. See if I can make this work. Because if I make this work, then it should um, help out a good bit with traffic flow. Now, this guy's going to be able to come up here. No, really? The slope is too steep. Hmm. Slope is too steep, really. That's interesting. Come on. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. That's, that'll work, I think. That should clean up traffic right there a good bit. Ooh. I accidentally cut off their power, didn't I? Feels bad. Feels bad. Now all my citizens are angry at me. Here you go. Have some power back. So now let's see where these guys are trying to get... It looks like they're just trying to get in here. Hmm. Maybe if I did a off-ramp down to this, that might work pretty well. I'm going to shut off these lights. We'll go and get rid of these guys. Make sure there's no more stoplights where they don't need to be stoplights. So let's see what happens with traffic now. I've given them multiple different routes to get to do, to get to the uh, different areas. I'm hoping that'll help out a bit. It looks like it did actually help out quite a bit. Oh yeah, that helped out a lot. See, there's no more locked up traffic since I gave them multiple routes. Uh, I've kind of identified where they're trying to go and how to deal with that issue as it arises. So basically what they were doing is they were going from here, they are coming around, and then they're, they were turning. And while they were turning here, it was locking up traffic here and here. People trying to get like this. So by giving them another alternate route right there, and right here, it's kind of helped free up traffic situation just a bit. Which, now it looks like things are flowing pretty smoothly. Pretty smoothly indeed. Oh, uh, we need some more industry it looks like. Where's my oil at? Was it out here? Were you my oil? I think you are my oil. I believe. Yes, you indeed were. Oh baby, there's my oil. How you doing, oil? You are gonna make me some, some money, aren't you? Probably not much, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these guys like so. This guy like that. Check the uh, natural resources, make sure I'm still in oil. I can expand out this way like this a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. We'll go like right there. We'll come out and we'll do another little expansion. Right there. Now we do need to uh, continue our zone out this way. There we go, very good. Very good, so that should help. Um, I believe there are some policies that I can... If I do this, 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 and this, 
that should help out a little bit with um, making some more money. You should see my money start to go up here in a few seconds. There we go. You guys can see that it's already starting to benefit us a little bit here. Uh, we will need some water pipes ran out this direction. Go ahead and address that right now. Uh, probably wasn't the most efficient way to run piping out here, but... I mean, it's not like we're hurting on money too much right now, so... Uh, how's this landfill doing? 50% full? Do I have an incinerator out here? I do not. I can definitely use some of these guys. Let's just get a few of these, um, placed around there, so... Won't have quite as many issues. Uh, looks like stoplights are a thing out here, which I could... Kind of quickly remedy in, uh, problem areas. I'm gonna quickly scan through here, look for any issues. Don't put one right there. Get rid of them there. I am doing this, right? Is it doing anything? Okay, yeah. I was like, wait, is anything happening? I think I was zoomed out too far, so I couldn't actually see it happening. Make sure there's no more issues anywhere. Looks like things are uh, working pretty nicely. Make sure there's not one right there. Pop that guy off. Pop this guy, get him out. Get you out, and there we go. That should work nicely. The traffic flow is it. It's going to be heavy out here because this is a pretty busy industrial area. So, I mean, that's kind of to be expected, you know. Not too much that I can actually do about that. Uh, something I could do, though, which I might do here. Um, look at my available space that I have. I got, you, you don't have water here? Here, let me help you out. There you go. There you go, friendo. Um, I guess what I could do... I go like this. I could do... Oh, that's in the way a little bit. Maybe if I go above it, that might work? Yeah, there we go. That does it very nicely. And then if I go like this, that will give them another route out of the city. Or out of our industrial zone, rather. Uh, are we having power? Oh, we are. Right here. Oh, baby. Yep, glad that I uh, saw that message down there. Go like this. There we go. So that should connect all these. Looks like these did spring up pretty dang quickly as well. That's good to see. That's very good to see. Um, I do have offices, right? Yeah, I could put some offices out here as well. That might not be a bad idea. Get a few offices going. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do that. Let's go ahead and go two out this way. Two like that. Two this way. Like this. Now, I don't want to put the offices too close to my residential because offices do, um, create a bit of noise, which I would like to avoid if possible. Uh, offices. Let's go ahead and do this like that. Go ahead and zone these guys as well for offices. My fill tool. Just fill that in. So that should be good for offices. Uh, let me go ahead and do this, though. There we go. Fill that back in. And there we go. Now we have some, uh, some good offices out here. Good office space going. I, for one, probably wouldn't want to work out here because traffic would be pretty bad trying to get here. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it won't be that bad. I guess what I could do... I could have another ramp like this. Just try to make it so people that are just trying to get back over there don't have to go actually out on the highway to get there. So let's go and do that. Uh, this is going to be a pretty heavy intersection, it looks like, right here. I'll definitely want to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't become a uh, problem area. But right now, it should be okay. See, what I'm noticing people are doing is they're coming out here and going like this. Might be able to catch someone doing it. Maybe. Though, yeah, it looks like since we place this there, it's kind of getting rid of people that are trying to do that. There we go. Yep, and then they go straight onto the roundabout, straight to where they need to be. Very nice. Looks like it's working out pretty dang well. Uh, anything else that I could clean up a bit with traffic? Doesn't appear so. We could probably use a uh, police force out here. Just to uh, prevent any kind of crime or anything like that that might happen. Uh, let's get a... We got that, we got that. We could use a clinic out here as well. We have a cemetery, we do. I guess we could place another one like this, maybe. Crematorium. Eh, 
Eh, I don't really need it. Yet. <laughs> yet. Keyword, yet. Will that act as a bridge? It will. So again, there's my little electrical bridge I'm talking about. Just place something in between, and stuff should connect quite nicely. It looks like things are going well. We're dealing with traffic as the need arises. Um, right here looks like it could be another issue. Looks like it's flowing pretty good, though, so I'm not worried about it. Oh, right here could be another issue we might need to address soon. Actually, are there stoplights here? Huh. Just, just to make sure that there's... If I go like that, that might help. You know what I could do? I could just put a parking ban on these streets. Where the uh, traffic is a bit more heavy. Let's see if that helps out a little bit. Mm, maybe a bit. Not much, though. I'm going to assume it's because of this intersection right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to think of what a good option for this would be. Though it, it does look like it looks like it's cleaned it up a bit. It might have been these intersections, honestly, that were causing the issue. Let's just go like that. Let's just delete these guys and see what happens. Yeah, see, and now traffic is fine. Um, out here, though, traffic is most certainly not okay. Oh, baby, that's gonna be tough. That is gonna be tough. Wow. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Hmm. Vehicle restrictions. Disable despawning. Trying to see what we have um, available to us. Maybe if I just get rid of some parking on this intersection or this road here, it'll kind of alleviate a bit of the traffic we're experiencing. We just get rid of all this parking here because it's kind of not needed um i do have these now which i downloaded from the workshop it's like a parking garage so maybe these will help out a little bit i'll just place these throughout my city just kind of in random spots to try to deal with a bit of the traffic we're experiencing hoping that it might kind of help a little bit at least that would be nice to see uh let's place these it's kind of sporadically through here so people have a place to park. I hope they work. I really don't know if they do or not. Um, but if you guys have any experience using these, please let me know in the comment section down below if I'm using them correctly or if I'm not or how I could use them differently or whatever. You guys know the drill. Let's place a few of those there so we can get some traffic. Or not some traffic, some incineration going in this bad boy. And yeah, I think that's going to have to do it for today's episode, guys. If you guys enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button down below. So I know you enjoy it, and I'll be sure to get out to you guys more often. we got a nice little circle area out here now. It looks really cool. looks very nice. If you guys are new and enjoyed, be sure to hit that sub button so you guys never miss a daily video. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I do appreciate it. Thank you all for the ongoing support on the channel and the series. It goes a long way, guys, and uh, makes me happy. Makes me happy on the inside. Anyways, guys, hope you guys have a great day. Till next time, take care. Look at all them happy, happy people.